I'm here to protest police abuse of power, malicious abuse of power, and what they are doing is not only Sorry about a that. crime against Brief the public, in my, uh, the police are actively involved in trying to in make and one in Iowa my like a stop on police but with I, their roadblocks but for I no stopped reason. It so I could resume my stream try, in time try for this guy to say his piece about And not only that, even though well, all lawyers, Montana, public officials, other, and police officers are sworn to uphold the and, uh, Constitution, the constitutional rights of all Americans, they are doing just the opposite. I have been stalked Corporate and followed and harassed by the world. police for 20 years now, since 1994. And besides harassment, is a case of police entrapment. Police have the stooges harass you, and then they're around the corner, down the block, and when you when you when you uh, complain or, or spray them with mace like I did, the police swoop in and throw you in jail. That's all they do. They never the police never investigate right or wrong, who's right, who's a criminal. They just throw people in jail. And then there's stooges like Sarcone, what kind of prosecutor, and his assistant stooge, Fred Gay, gleefully prosecute innocent people. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm sorry to get your Thank you very much. And the police All right. Thank you. 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 Hi, my name is Barb, and I am here representing a few organizations that have been mentioned. Uh, Organic Consumer Association right now is very much front and center in the battle in the state of Washington to pass I-522 initiative. And if they pass that law requiring labeling of, labeling of GMOs, you guys, that means we only need one or two more states to make it happen in this country. Yeah. So please, please folks, not only participate this week, but get on organicconsumers.org slash whatever they'll you'll you'll find it under October events there's labeling also a pardon me labeling in Iowa labeling in Iowa the food and water watch and many people are working on that as well so but we've been talking about this world food prize happening here behind us and and so on on these flyers that have been passed out folks the world sovereignty food prize uh, uh, awardees are being honored this Saturday, you all need to go and attend this. It's right here on Saturday, October 19th on your flyers at Unitarian Church, the Jane Beaver Memorial Symposium uh, at First Unitarian Church, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Please check that out and come. You're going to hear from people like Francis Moore LePay, world-known expert in this area. Thank you. Thank you. All right, 30 seconds, Ross how many of us have heard feed the world? Yeah. Have we all heard that? Yeah. Well, I want to challenge you. Feed the world is their language. That's the language of Monsanto and the pushers of GMO, and it's designed to continue to push their corporate agenda on this country and the world. And it's time to stand up to that and challenge that. It is time to nourish the world. And that includes a clean environment. That includes labeling of products that we consume. Right. Label it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm here as a simple organic farmer with my family. Uh, I have a, I have a neighbor that has planted uh, Monsanto experimental corn for five years across the street from my house. I have, I have, I have no concept of how that's even possible, more or less, right. Uh, when I grew up, they rotated crops. They cared about the water. They cared about everything they were doing. They've been convinced of a different way. Uh, we put away 450 jars of food this year. I encourage everyone else to do the same. Don't buy into any of this. We can do it ourselves. Let's do it. Hi, I'm Julie Jeffrey. Some of you might remember from the last march, if you were here, I was a speaker. I spoke about my child's health and how GMOs have helped heal him. I'm here to tell you that everybody can eat organic, grow a garden. In uh, World War II times in 1942, it was considered patriotic to grow a garden. It helped our country through the war. And one of the main things was there was the food, the food, uh, food system was in jeopardy. I think today the food system is in jeopardy. And I think we all need to do our parts and start growing gardens. You can start with tomatoes, something easy. The independence from corporate, corporate uh, system, self-sufficiency, people getting this closer to daughter. the environment, it's patriotic. It's sticking by GMO foods, but when it's used, put on organic foods. All right, I think we have a couple more. Yeah. 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 Ye
only then uh, I just want to remind everybody that we all have she was, uh, power within us and if we all come was, together uh, on an individual level to raise the awareness by problems. spreading the word a lot of things can happen and we can also do things like planting gardens saving seeds and making sure that the soil that you're using is also organic and um, I believe in Iowa and I believe that the people can make this happen because we've done so many other things and it just takes the people's power and we can do it yeah. Yeah. By the way, FYI, Island of Hawaii banned GMO. We'll banned GMOs back. in process. We'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. Spread out. Spread out. Spread out. Walk slowly. We'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. Spread out. Walk slowly. We'll be back. 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 Instead of a, the instead of what she's like, most of us were.
will be coming again to you live at the Sacred Heart Catholic Church in West Point for the last of our series of uh, Sunday actions at churches. We are targeting specifically Catholic churches since we have a Catholic Cardinal coming in for our Occupy the World Food Price a feature event. The talk with the Jim Hightower and Cardinal Peter Turkson, which I will also bring to you live, along with the other events like the panel discussion on the Bishop Dingman's work promoting family farms, which is on the Tuesday at 7 o'clock at the Iowa Citizens Community Improvement Building, and uh, the Turkson High Tower event will be at First Methodist Church in Des Moines starting at 7 o'clock. But I will be live earlier in the day with the press conference at 4 o'clock and a devil protest at 4.45. That's right! So I'm riding past us on our bikes that say no to the government because the government is in bed with the corporations. be able to get into the October 19th event because that uh, requires paid admission and uh, I do not have resources to get in there and I don't think there will be a way I can get in there plus I want to be at the, the Ancient Way store for the last of the class for we were this year. Now we are turning uh, Back onto uh, Robert D. Ray Drive at the City Hall, and we're headed back to the parking lot. And I will keep this going as long as people choose to hang out here. The woman who wanted to take a picture of my uh, button filled hat is a cousin of to one of my fellow occupiers who also works for a local weekly newspaper that uh, is free to pick up and it, but it sells advertising in order to pay for its production and she did a big piece on us back in 2011 when we were occupying Stewart Square <laughs> which is a part of the capital Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. I live streamed that thing, and and that's been getting a a lot a lot more views. Tiffany who spoke last year at our events and um, also at the at the committee hearing that I streamed in the spring. So uh, you remember seeing me there. Hi. Thank you. So free apples were offered. I like your shirt too. Where did you get that? I got it on eBay, and the seller says the word of "occupy" is pre-printed, but you tell in the message what you want on it. Yeah. What you know underneath. So I said in the message to okay. seller, I want the word Monsanto on there. Yeah, I like it. Do you have to look back? No. no. Then you got your thing. Yeah. 
And I have another shirt that says there is nothing Santo about Monsanto. <laughs> We were, that's why we wrote Monsatan on ours. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd it go? Somewhere on there. Monsatan. Yeah. Put it on the back of hers. There's the front. Yep, that's a good one. I'm going to by the way. Too cute. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Anybody has any questions, leave them free. Chalking that went on. I'm gonna, oh, yeah. So go to that website. I was I was thinking that 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 I was you can send them an email and tell them your opinion about fluoridation of the water. We have a couple of weeks left. Please, everyone, send in your comments. The Des Moines Water Works. We don't want fluoridation. No. No, we don't. They have an email address to send your comments. There apparently has been enough concern about the fluoride in the city water that the, our local water utility, the Des Moines Water Works, has decided to uh, put up a, a piece on their website where people can submit comments about it, a particular issue, and so they decided to put up one about fluoridation. And if you want to contact it was just announced that there are two weeks left for public comment on fluoridation of the Des Moines okay, water. And so, if you are not in the Des Moines area, I would suggest you find out the same about your local water utility. If you get city water, find out if it's fluoridated and if there's a way to make comment about it and to uh, demand a change because we are getting enough fluoridation already with in the water and in toothpaste and since I've switched to a toothpaste that doesn't have fluoride in it I've decreased that by a, a fair amount so I just thought I'd uh, pass that along as well I'm just gonna roam around here Pick up discussions and conversations. Yeah, Deb brought me some organic pears, but I'm taking it out. Any questions, Raven? I just pulled the apple out of my uh, bag. hearing was a uh, word on my phone that I got some kind of a message, whether an email or text, but I'm ignoring that until I conclude my stream for today.
Well, things are a little bit more casual around here. Since the main part of our event is done, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, any uh, other stream channels that have been uh, relaying the stream, whether it be uh, Global Lots of Prime News Network or, or, uh, or any others who might have picked up my channel and, and uh, restreamed it elsewhere to uh, expand this. We did have media coverage, but however much they choose to show or not show, that's their problem. But when it comes to us live streamers, we shoot it, we post it, and that's the way it is. It doesn't get changed. So once I uh, close my stream for today, it becomes a permanent part of my uh, archive on my Ustream channel. So that anyone can watch at a later time. And if you'd like to help me cover the cost of my live streaming and broadcasting, which I do appreciate any support, since I do live on a fixed income and I'm doing this on my own dime, I don't get paid by anyone except those who choose to support me. But uh, please check out my uh, WePay site at www.wepay.com slash donations slash occupier Kaylin livestream and Kaylin is spelled K-A-Y-L-Y-N-N again www.wepay.com slash donations slash occupier Kaylin livestream or if you're outside of the U.S. where WePay is not available please go to www.paypal.com and in the send money to line enter the email address s-t-r-a-i-n-s-o-p at aol.com again www.paypal.com and in the send money to line enter the email address s-t-r-a-i-n-s-o-p at aol.com and uh, enter uh, that in the line to send money to and uh, that will take me a few to help me cover the cost of my live streaming and broadcasting, such as system maintenance, whether upgrading or maintaining my phone or my computer, whatever. And I recently uh, set my tablet in for repair or replacement, and I'm trying to get that returned to me so that I can have that as an option or use it as a Wi-Fi hotspot. Um, yeah. Do you have one of these yet? Uh, is that a... It's just like a picture of that game. Oh, I I have access to that on. I've seen that before, so I probably have stuff in the different. I have that stuff in different form. I also recently decided to upgrade my RAM for my desktop again to. Uh, Eight megs. So I'm waiting for that to be uh, shipped out to me so that I can put that in. I have four in there. And when I'm broadcasting from my live stream channel using the Procaster, I can only put up one stream feed at a time. And even that is choppy. So people have a hard time viewing it. So I'm hoping that with eight megs of RAM, I'll be able to improve that. And, uh, I will be able to rebroadcast someone else's stream like someone is doing today without having that choppiness, or I might be able to put up two at the same time, or put up a stream and a picture. I'm watching Apple. <laughs> Yeah, you only did like 20 or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I did 
Did someone leave, have something to put apple cores in? I don't know, whoever was collect just put it in the garbage, or was probably was, yeah, that'll work. I just uh, ditched my uh, apple core. You mean you didn't lay them yourself? No, I didn't. Why not? <laughs> I'm just teasing. Oops, paper's getting away. Oh. They're rescuing their papers that are flying away. Yeah? <laughs> there are several pens there. If say if you don't have one, I got I got some in uh, in my bag. Press conference on Thursday at four o'clock. Is that the one you went? To? I don't know. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So I think he's supposed to be there, and I'm not sure if the cardinal himself will be there. Thursday or when? Thursday at four o'clock in front of the World Food Prize Building. Okay. I think he needs um, a confirmation. Yeah. So actually, Sharon is the one who has been in more frequent contact with the cardinal and his assistant. So uh, if she's still here, she has the she's 
was wearing that. Yeah, otherwise, I have the emails that have the list of what they were seeking. I can yeah. give that to you if you get home. I don't have a list. But, but Sharon Donovan. Yes. Yeah, she she has the she has been in more frequent contact with the cardinal and his assistant, so uh, she would know more about uh, when when he'll actually get into town, where he's going to be when. You're welcome. There was someone asking about uh, Cardinal Peter Turkson and uh, when he will actually be here and if he'll be at certain uh, places. Just stick that float around. Save mom's apple pie. So I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, close this up. And, uh, so we come in a part of my archive on my Houston channel. So I want to share it, go ahead, pass it around, let people know that uh, we did this here in Des Moines. And uh, again, support your uh, streamers wherever they are. Because we're the ones who bring these events to you live and uncut. Mainstream media most often chooses to ignore us. We have them out here. But uh, what I showed you today is what everything we did. They may not show you everything. So uh, that's why we streamers are out here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the streams.